and welcome to the Crazy Sock Lady YouTube channel and welcome to Vlogmas. So this is kind of a intro to Vlogmas, day zero I guess if you will. This is the first year I've ever done a day zero or intro but I thought it would be fun to kind of go through the advents that I've got, the projects that I'm thinking for them and just chat a bit how Vlogmas will run instead of kind of overwhelming you on day one with all of the info. So today is November 30th. It is almost 4 p.m. I have just done the school pickup run, so you might hear people moving around. Eric should be home from work probably any minute now. <laughs> so it's kind of the crazy time of the day in the house, but I just got a chance to sit down and record this. I also brought over some of the things I have finished since the last episode because I thought I would run through those. Otherwise, you probably won't see them. Um, well, some of them maybe, but some are gifts. So I thought we would run through those. So we're just gonna dive right in. So what is Vlogmas? If you're not f familiar with Vlogmas, you are probably seeing it all over your YouTube right now. <laughs> it is everywhere. So many people are doing Vlogmas. It's so exciting. I love doing it and creating it and I love watching other people's as well. So Vlogmas is basically a daily vlog running up throughout December up until Christmas. I record December 1st through December 25th and they go up a day behind. I know some people record ahead of schedule um, so that they have something like December 1st going up on December 1st, but I like to record in real time and open my advents in real time. Um, that's just my personal preference and instead of confusing myself or having to open my advents early, I record December 1st advent things on December 1st and then I post that vlog on December 2nd. So it will be running a day behind, but there are many kind of perks to that. You can know you can come and watch um, the Vlogmas that's up and if you have the same advents as me, you're seeing what was opened yesterday. So you have no chance of spoilers and it just works better for me because I like recording real time better than having to confuse myself with opening advents on different days <laughs> than what they are numbered as. <laughs> So this day zero will be going up on December 1st. Um, I think that's really kind of it about how Vlogmas runs. That's how I do mine. Uh, you'll just be seeing what I'm getting up to throughout the days, maybe some family stuff. Yeah, just kind of a daily vlog every day. I like to keep them kind of short, 15-ish minutes around there. Some might be less. Some might be about 20 minutes. We will see, it kind of varies, just depends on what is going on that day. You may notice in previous years, if you've watched previous Vlogmas, you saw more of my boys and over the years that's kind of diminished. That's just because they prefer not to be on camera and not to be on YouTube and that's just me being a respectful mother and knowing that they have opinions and things that they want. Um, they're growing into such great young men. So that's just me being respectful and only putting them up when they are comfortable with that. So I think that's kind of it about how Vlogmas goes. Let me show you things I finished and then we'll chat about what advent calendars and things you can expect to see me working on throughout December. So I did finish my ghost story socks. These are Homespun House uh, sock set. And anything that I talk about here will have a Ravelry project page. I will have that linked right down below this video. And any projects I work on throughout Vlogmas, I'll always have those project pages linked below. So if I don't mention needle sizes, things like that, you can always find that over there. Um, and then if it's not listed on the project page, you can always send me a message and say, hey, this wasn't on your project page. Um, can you help with this info or, you know, whatever. I'm always happy to help, but definitely always check the Ravelry project pages. So I knit these up using my vanilla socks pattern. I alternated heels, toes, and cuffs. And I'm so happy to finally have the last pair of Halloween socks off of the needles. That was something I really wanted done before the end of November. I also have cast on and finished a pair of socks for my niece. So these are for my niece, Lily. Lily. 
So these used a mini skein set, a Minecraft mini skein set from Holly Press Fibers. And then the speckled is Every Flavor Bean by Lolo Did It. So that's those. I love how these turned out. I did my pop of color at the cuff. And I do have a tutorial. I have two new tutorials up on YouTube. If you have not seen those, they are pop of color at the cuff, how to do that, and how to weave in your ends as you go. I used this sock to record those tutorials. So those are up now if you want to check those out. And I cast on those socks for Lily because my sister Cassie, her mom had told me that Lily, she's kind of goes through phases with her knitwear. She always loves it, but she, it kind of was going through a phase last year where she didn't want to wear her socks. Um, she would only wear them like in her boots or if it was snowing and they were outside in the snow. So I was like, well, you know, I'm not gonna make her a lot of socks right now. She's not really wanting to wear them. This year, she wants to wear them all the time. And a lot of her socks do not fit her anymore. Um, circumference wise she just can't get them on anymore so I knit these hoping that these work I did 60 stitches I know I've tried um, when she's been here I was knitting a pair of socks that were 60 stitches before tried them on and they fit great so I'm hoping that these fit I was gonna save these for Christmas but I'm tempted to just put them in the mail um, tomorrow and send them off to her so I can see if they fit and then I can knit her a bunch more I can just go crazy and knit her a bunch of socks because they go really quick because she's she's still little so I think that's what I might do just to see if they fit because I talked to Cassie again today after finishing those and she said Lily was trying to put on a pair of socks she said Cassie said she keeps everything that I knit because she, she thinks you know one day maybe Lily will have a, a child and want to pass it on to that child and so she keeps it and Lily found them and was trying them on and they would not fit and she was so mad that <laughs> she couldn't get them on and she then she was digging for other pairs to try to wear and so yeah the girl needs some socks if she's in this phase where she wants to wear them that bad I've got to get on the ball and I've got to knit her some more socks if you hear background noise the heater is on and the dryer's running so but that's vlogmas it's real life I do not live in I'm not recording in a studio. This is my house. <laughs> okay, anyways, I was putting these on blockers. I did finish both of the Candy Cane Stripes sock pattern. Sample. I love these. So this pattern will be up when this video goes up since it'll be going up December 1st. This pattern will be live so I'll put a coupon code here on the screen if you're watching and you want to head over and grab the candy cane stripes sock pattern it'll be a be available on Etsy and Ravelry and I will have both of those places linked down below so I knit these with the Moon Glow Yarn Co candy cane lane sock set and the pattern comes with a video that goes along with it where I talk about how to weigh your yarn to make sure you have enough if you're using a sock set or scraps or anything. I explain to you how to weigh your yarn, walk you through that, how to measure your gauge to know when to start the stripes on the foot. And I also show you some tips and tricks for the color work on the socks. So I hope that you guys enjoy this. I can't wait to see it knit up. I'm so excited um, a bit nervous about having a pattern out after so long so I can't wait to see what y'all think I also knit Lily a muscle bra hat I'm wearing mine right now um, this was knit out of fiber seed I can't remember the colorway name but I'll link the project page below but I love I love mine I've been wearing it a lot <laughs> so I knit Lily one it's been a long time since I knit her a hat and I know last year she didn't have I don't believe she had a hat for me the fit so I figured she needed one and the muscle burra is such a great pattern it's patterned by Isolde Teague and I absolutely love it so this yarn was plucky knitter I believe the colorway is date night it was some leftovers that I had I love this colorway I love this hat it's such a fun hat to knit so I finished that for her and I might just go ahead and mail this off too. I already have um, 
a couple of Christmas gifts for her. I was gonna put these aside for Christmas, but you know, since she's so into wanting to wear things that Auntie Kay has knit her, I think I'm gonna go ahead and ship these off to her tomorrow and that'll be a nice surprise for her. And then I can see if they fit and hopefully the socks do especially. I guess she's been wanting to wear sweaters too that I've knit her, I love it so much. Um, it makes me so happy. <laughs> So I also finished a ton of dishcloths because I'm hoping these will be some Christmas gifts um, for my sister and a couple of other people. So I finished the set that I was doing out of the kitchenette colorway. This is Knit Picks Dishy yarn. This was kitchenette. And I have one, two, three, four, five, six in that. And then mine that I'll keep that has the gray Knit Picks Dishy um, to finish it off. I still have to weave in all the ends, but they are done and that will not take any time to weave those ends in. And then I'm also working on a pair or a set out of just black Knit Picks Dishy, which sounds kind of crazy, I guess, but I have Knit Picks Dishy Multi in like a black and a cream. It's like a mix. So I thought that would be kind of fun. I'll do three of the multi and three of the black for sets to kind of mix it up a bit. So I'm working on the black right now. I have one, two, three, four. The fifth one is on the needles. So I'm working along. These, I've put them as my treadmill knitting. They had kind of been my car knitting, but they've been moved to treadmill knitting so that I have that like 45 minutes, an hour every morning when I get up and it's great mindless knitting to just knit while I'm on the treadmill. All right, that's all I brought over. I have finished my DRK Everyday sweater. I wanted to wear it today, but I just didn't get around to changing into that and for this video. So you'll see it throughout Vlogmas. Make sure you watch that to see um, that because I'm sure I'll wear it. I wore it yesterday and love it so much. The fit is amazing. What else? Um, lace and fade boxy, I wanted to try to have done before the end of the month, but I do not, and I am not pressuring myself. I have the body done and bound off. I just have to do the sleeves and the neck band. If I feel inspired to pick it up throughout December, I will. If not, it'll be waiting on me when all the Advent December knitting is done, and I will pick it up then, and it will be great. <laughs> Advent knitting, I have two self-striping skeins. I showed those in the last podcast. I have the Freckled Whimsy and the Cozy Knitter. I have those here. Um, this is Daisy Girl and Company bag. It's a peekaboo bag and the yarn's wound up in there so I'm not gonna flip it around and show it just in case. This will go up December 1st but I don't want anyone to not have opened it and so i won't be showing anything like that on this one you'll see that on december first vlogmas but i have my cuffs done i can show those so i'm only going to do one pair of socks for now out of the freckled whimsy one pair of the cozy knitter um for throughout december and then i will go back and knit a pair for my mother-in-law out of each of these self-striping skeins and i'll just do those at normal pace not a stripe a day or anything like that so I have cuffs done, these are the Freckled Whimsy cuffs. Just plain white. Um, 20 rounds, knit two, purl two. I'll just be doing my vanilla socks on nine inch circulars for these. And then I have my Cozy Knitter. This is in a bag from Stolen Minutes. And I have my cuffs done for this one as well. And the yarn I'm using for the cuffs, for the Freckled Whimsy, it's Cottonwood Breeze by Moonglow Yarn Co. The Cozy Knitter, I have no idea. It's what I've used for the Cozy Knitter socks last year at the very least, maybe even the year before that, and it's just still leftovers from that. I have five advent calendars under this tree. <laughs> that I'm opening. Maybe I'll have taken some footage of that and inserted it here, or maybe it was at the beginning or something, but I have five advent calendars. Um, I'll kind of show them here, I guess. That would be a good idea. 
and then talk about what I'm going to do with them. So I have the Moon Glow Yarn Co. DK Weight Advent Calendar this year. It's just in this basket here. Last year, it's her rainbow advent. Last year I did the fingering weight and I did the wall of cow. This year I have the DK weight. It came in this bag. And I am going to be doing the bounce blanket by Tin Can Knits. Maybe I'll put pictures up here on the screen of every pattern. And then the pattern will be linked within the project page. But I'm going to be doing the bounce blanket. The main color that I'm going to use is Cottonwood Breeze by Moonglow Yarn Co. So I'm hoping to get this started tonight because it starts with a little garter ridge of the main color. So I think I will start that tonight. I have needles, everything's ready in this bag. So that's the plan. That way tomorrow I can start with day one and start knitting it right away. What advent is next? Let's just go around here. Yes, that's, I pulled the right one for this one. That's exciting. So this is the yarn ink advent calendar. It's fingering weight. And I'm going to be doing the adventurous wrap by Amba O'Brien. I have my bag ready. This is a bag from Mountain State Stitches. Needles, everything's all ready to go in that bag. Um, yes, nope. <laughs> Trying to remember which one is for which bag. I think that's this one. Okay. This one is the Homespun House advent calendar for this year and if this one is her I think it's gonna be all tonals if I'm remembering correctly I think she did two I think this one's gonna be all tonals and I'm doing the anthology throw by Helen Stewart for that so I have this this is another bag by Mountain State Stitches that I got this year I love this fabric so much and again needles everything's already in all these bags and ready to go for tomorrow I have a advent calendar that my knit group we did a swap one of the gals in my knit group coordinated everything and did such a good job at coordinating it all. We all took our minis last night. She had these bags and stickers that she had sent home with us a couple of weeks ago and we got them all ready and last night we met up, put them all out on a table and everybody took one of each number. So it's in this basket ready to go. That'll be fun to open because it's everybody contributed for that one. So I have a bag by Bags by Awesome Granny ready for that. And I am gonna be crocheting with this one. I'm gonna be doing the Granny Wrap hmm, by Anubis, Anubis House. I can't remember who it's by, but I will link it down below. The pattern is written for like bulky or super bulky and I'm gonna be doing it with fingering weight. So I'm obviously making the adjustment of using a different size hook. I need to go get, oh no, actually I have extra hooks in here. Maybe I have the right size hook. So I originally thought I was gonna hold them double and do DK weight, but I think I'm just gonna do fingering weight. And I'm going to use, I think I'm gonna use the 3.5, no, I think it was a 2.5. I'm gonna have to look. Whatever I'm using for my granny stripe blanket, it makes a very dense gauge for fingering weight. And I love like the tighter gauge for that because it, it'll just be a little warmer than like big and airy. I mean, DK weight would be warm, don't get me wrong, but I want a pretty dense gauge, I think. And I think fingering weight, I wanna make it super large. I want something so big and cozy to wrap up in and cozy up in. 
I'm probably just gonna keep it on the back of this chair here. I am sitting in the basement. I put up a tree in my basement for just for my advent calendars. Went a little extra <laughs> this year. Um, I really wanted to cozy up this space though. We've, If you've watched for a while, we finished our basement, got new carpet in here finally after we had a flood in here. So I really, I've tried to make this space out here in the main room of the basement um, feel a little bit cozier. It does have like some workout stuff over there and there's guitar stuff over there, but I really wanted to cozy up the space and right behind me I've made a little sitting area and that I wanted to put a tree down here because I just think that's going to make it even cozier. I've been trying to sit down here when I get a chance to knit um, throughout the day. So anyways, I don't know how I got to where I just was. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, I was going to put the, the shawl on the back of the chair. That's how we got there. Talking about the basement. Okay. So I'm going to put the shawl on the back of the chair. I think that'll be kind of where it lives. I'm like imagining wearing it in the mornings and, um, the evenings. So I think that'll be really nice. And I'm going to use my tulip Atimo crochet hooks. Um, just in case anyone's wondering what crochet hooks I was looking at there. I think I have those linked on my Amazon storefront below. Last one is the Polka Dot Creek. Let's see if I can get it out of here. This is the Polka Dot Creek Grinch Advent. I have it here in another basket. They're in little boxes. This one, Polka Dot Creek sold them and put them together, but it was, it's 25 different Canadian yarn dyers and the theme is the Grinch, which the Grinch is just hands down, it might be my all-time favorite Christmas movie. I love them all. I love every version of The Grinch. Just absolutely love it. So what I'm thinking with The Grinch, because it's Grinch themed, so I don't know what all the colors are going to look like. Like in my head when I think of Grinch, obviously I think of very traditional Christmas type colors. The Grinch is green. There's a lot of Christmassy stuff. It's a Christmas movie. I myself love, love traditional Christmas colors. So I'm hoping there's some traditional Christmas colors. I'm sure there'll be others, but that's what I'm kind of hoping for. And I have some bear yarn. It's just bear. Just ordered plain white yarn to go with it. I'm going to hold it double and I'm going to do the Cozy Comfort Throw by Molly of a Homespun House. I'll just put a picture up here because it's black and white. But um, it's by Molly Clatt of a Homespun House. It's her Cozy Comfort Throw. I thought about using Molly's Advent for Molly's blanket, but I'm really hoping, I, this could go completely wrong, but I'm hoping the Grinch is going to be some Grinchy kind of colors and traditional Christmas colors and that's what I'm hoping for and I'm hoping for a throw that's that to pull out every Christmas as kind of the Christmas cozy comfort throw if you will so I have that all ready to go in a bag that I bought from Jilly of was knitting broomstick it's mom of six stitches I believe now <laughs> So I have a bag that I got from her. She had an update of like scrappy fabrics, Christmas fabrics. I thought that was perfect. So that kind of catches you up on everything I'm going to be attempting to work on. At the very least, I will be doing the Advent striped socks. Then the other projects that I have Advents and projects picked out for, I'll just kind of try to work on them each day. If I can, I can. If I can't, I can't. I will just work on whatever makes me happy because that is what we should all do with our knitting, crocheting, or anything that we are doing. So if I'm feeling pulled towards one and not towards others, that's what's going to end up happening and that's fine. I will have them, I'll just take them as I open them. What I like to do if I don't work on them is put them back in their bag or whatever they came in so that I know which order they were in and then I just store them in their bags, the project bags I had picked out. And then when I'm ready to work on them, I will pull them out and work on them. 
So that's kind of my plans for Vlogmas. I hope you guys are excited about Vlogmas. I'm excited about recording. I'm excited about watching everybody's Vlogmas. Let me know below what you are most excited about for this holiday season that we are going into. It doesn't even have to be knitting. I'm just, let me know what you guys are excited about. I am obviously excited about everything we just talked about, but I'm just also excited. This is my favorite time of year. I love decorating for Christmas. I love all of the holiday traditions, um, spending some more time cozying up with the family. We seem, we've always in past years played a lot more games, um, board games and things during the winters. So I'm hoping there'll be some of that, some baking. Yeah. I'm just excited for all those things. So I hope that you'll be joining me on Vlogmas and I can't wait to see y'all throughout the month of December. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you tomorrow for day one of Vlogmas.